Today I'm going to be reviewing this Haxi Aor Inverter Welding Machine that was recently sent to me by the brand. So I'm going to open this up and show you everything you're going to get inside. So this is everything you're going to get inside of here. So it does have a packing list in here, just to make it a little bit easier. So you're going to get your welder, you're going to get your ground clamp, your earth clamp, you're going to get your brush, you're going to get your torch. So that's just going to be the one that's going to be already installed onto there. You're going to get your flux wire, so that's going to be that one there. It's going to come with six uh, extra contact clips, clips, 10 welding rods, and it comes with a belt and then the user manual, which is, of course, this one here. Now, one thing to note about this specific welding machine is it is going to take a regular 110 plug, which that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on you know, if you're talking about welding a lot, just welding a little bit here and there. Like it's on the one hand, it's nice to be able to just plug into a 110 because you can obviously just run an extension cord or plug it directly into an outlet that you have. Or maybe even if you're out, you know, just welding somewhere where you don't have a lot of electricity, you can easily, you know, start up a little a small generator and one, run the 110 off of that versus you know a 220 um, welder that's going to ha take a lot more power you also have to have this specifically designed outlet for that so this is, is going to come with a regular 110 now as you can see this is going to be a smaller smaller welder box as well so again you can have massive ones this is going to be one that's going to be on the smaller side which again can be a pro or a con and it really just depends on your per, your personal preferences i just want to kind of show you what everything is going to look like inside of there as well this just kind of clips and then opens and shuts just right here on the side so this clip just goes like that and then the same thing on the other side so this is everything that's going to come inside of the box exactly what you can expect to get um, I will. I do want to grab a tape measure just to kind of give you the length on each of these cords, specifically the torch cord um, and then the clamp cords as well, just so you know exactly what that is. So let me grab a tape measure. So the first cord thing I'm going to look at is actually going to be the power cord. So again, this is going to be a 110 power cord that this is going to come with. And actual length on that is going to be a hair over four foot. It was about 51 inches on that specific cord. Now let's go ahead and look at this, this torch cord, see how long that is so you know exactly how far away from the welder you can get. So let's run that out. Get to about three foot there. And so if we go to like where the torch starts, essentially it's gonna be right near that five foot mark. If we go to the tip, we're gonna be at 69 inches. So not quite six foot on that, on that cord. Let's go with the this cord here. So let me grab this again. I'm going to measure all the way from the tip um, just to give you the exact measurement. That can be helpful a lot of times, you know, if you're trying to figure out, okay, is this going to work for me in this specific situation? So we've got a little over six foot actually. So this one's going to be like 73, 74 inches. It looks like about 75 inches actually. Um, so where that one's going to go. And then now let's do our ground clamp as well. This one is going to look to be a little bit shorter than that six foot. So let's go ahead and double check it just to be sure. And yep, so you include that. That one's going to be right at five foot. So that gives you a general idea of what you can expect in regards to your links of your cords, you know, the welder itself, exactly what comes inside the box. And this is going to be from the brand, again, is Paxi Aor.